Welcome to the lowest place on earth, the Dead Sea. It also happens to be in the desert. This natural wonder attracts thousands of tourists from around the world every year. They come to relax in a beautiful oasis, to experience the effect of the healing water and mud, and to enjoy the mineral springs, health spas, resorts, and luxury hotels. The Dead Sea is also more than just a tourist attraction. It's a source of unique minerals with healing and medicinal properties that are used in lots of products, from fertilizers for agriculture to cosmetics and beauty products. The region also has rare water sources that are used to grow high-quality vegetables and dates. Like any other place on Earth, the Dead Sea and its surrounding areas need a constant water supply to thrive. But in this case, the challenge is twofold because of the region's unique hydrological heritage. In the last few years, brackish groundwater reservoirs were the source of its potable water supply, and the water was treated at the Nebe Zohar desalination plant and other small plants in the area. However, the water from these sources is now decreasing in terms of both quantity and quality due to increasing salinity. At the same time, as is the case globally, the demand for potable water is constantly increasing, both for the hotel industry, which is preparing for a record number of tourists in the next few years, and for agriculture. And to make things even more challenging, there is no sufficient backup for these independent water supply systems in crisis scenarios. In order to solve this challenge, the Safit Regional Reservoir Facility was proposed as an alternative potable water source for the region. However, this solution came with its own set of complex engineering challenges. First, the reservoir is located some 60 kilometers from the main Dead Sea Resort area with the Judea Desert Reserve in between. This nature reserve needed to be preserved which meant that the pipeline had to be buried underground and could not be accessed for maintenance and repairs. Second, there is an 830-meter height difference between the reservoir and the Dead Sea pools. This brought about the need for a unique solution that could reduce the 83-atmosphere upstream pressure to a 5-atmosphere downstream pressure. And this needed to be done in a widely varying flow rate of 50 to 1,200 cubic meters per hour, and in a very small area. To carry out this extremely challenging project, the Israeli national water supply company Mekawat needed to find an experienced water solutions company that could create a turnkey solution and solve these major challenges. Mekawat evaluated alternative solutions proposed by such companies, and after careful consideration, chose Bermad for the end-to-end -end implementation of the project. This was a natural choice, as since 1965, Bermad had been offering the widest range of robust and reliable hydraulic control solutions for municipal and infrastructure use. Designed for 24-7 self-autonomous operations and easy maintenance, Bermad's proven products are deployed for water supply treated wastewater or recycled water, and water leakage prevention around the globe. Bermad's engineers began to design a solution that took multiple design challenges into account. For example, they needed to source and customize suitable devices and components that included self-operated control valves, stone traps, and pressure relief valves for use in high-pressure scenarios, PN100, and also during power failures. They also needed to take into account the unique three-dimensional design of the limited area assigned for the project, while also focusing on safety as well as easy operation and maintenance. In addition, they needed to find a way to facilitate the whole range of the required flow rate and to prevent any surges in the 54 kilometers of the marginal scheduled main pipeline, which operates at velocities of up to 2.7 meters per second. To overcome this challenge, they divided the pressure-reducing station into five parallel branches. The engineers also gave special attention to preventing any cavitation damage, vibrations, and operation noise levels, 
which are expected in such pressure regulation ratios. As the station was designed to work without an on-site operator, the engineers needed a solution that would increase the redundancy of the station and ensure continuous operation. To ensure this redundancy, they designed five independent branches with a quick pressure relief valve at the downstream of each pressure reducing stage. A flow straightener and flow meter were installed in each branch of the system in order to adjust and monitor the supplied flow rates to the hotels, resort, and to the Einbokek. The water discharged out of the pressure relief valves is collected into a 12-inch pipe for each reduction stage, which is also equipped with a water meter. This allows the control system to detect equipment malfunctions, shut down faulty branches, and perform water balance calculations that compare the water supply from the Safit Reservoir to the amount actually consumed at the hotels. The wide range of flow through the 54-kilometer pipeline created a large change in the station inlet pressure from 83 atmosphere to 45 atmosphere. Bermad's engineers met this need by using proportional reducing valves that only function when needed. The installed air valves evacuate air that arrives with the water from the Safit Reservoir as well as the air release during the pressure reducing process before supplying the water to the hotels and resorts. As the main operational contractor of the project, Bermad needed to obtain all of the relevant permits and coordinate with all of the parties involved in implementing the project. All of the work was carried out according to Mikowat standards and specifications and under close supervision, including X-ray, ultrasound, and interior pipe imaging. The project was carried out in two phases. The first phase lasted four months and included procuring, manufacturing, and coating all the valves and devices designed for above-ground installation. The second phase took two months and included the on-site excavations and constructions. Experienced welders who were authorized by Mikowat used special electrodes to carry out the work. All pipes and devices were internally and externally coated to meet potable water standards and withstand the extreme site temperatures and corrosion conditions. All electrical wiring, as well as the local and remote control systems, was constructed by Shaham based on specifications provided by Bermad. Bermad designed and implemented the project within six months. And in May 2017, after comprehensive static and dynamic testing, Bermad handed over the project to Mikowat employees, who also underwent theoretical and on-site hands-on training. The system is now operating successfully and is controlled remotely by the Mikowat Command and Control Center in Beersheba, which is located 100 kilometers away. Mikowat, the Israeli national water company, was asked to connect the Dead Sea region to the National Water Supply Network. To do this, we in Mekorot had to design a complex water supply system in the lowest place on Earth. This system had to be adapted to the unique geographical conditions and overcome lots of other challenges including preserving natural resources and environment. The project was implemented with a great success as a result of full cooperation between Mekorot and Bermad. It was exciting to take responsibility for such a unique and challenging project. And I definitely think that we proved once again that Bermad is a world leader in water control solutions. I'm very proud that we can overcome almost any engineering challenge and always do our best in order to enable efficient and smart system for water supply. I would like to say a special thank you for Mekorot, the Israeli National Water Company, for a great collaboration during this project. Thank you so much. <laughs>